Hi, I'm Dr. Poojita, consultant obstetrician and gynecologist. We are going to discuss about PCOS. So when this topic has come, I can seriously see an opening eyes in, in the woman. Why we are so scared of PCOS, which is not at all required. Reduce the panic situation and it's very easy to manage PCOS if you really understand why you are facing all these things. How the patient usually comes, when the patient comes to a doctor, what are the complaints they usually um, give it to the give it to the doctors. See, they may come with an irregular cycles. The most common thing which when they reach the gynecologist is irregular cycles. Some girls, young girls, they may come to me with, doctor, I am doing lots of exercises. Why I am unable to put on, put down weight? And we are doing lots of exercises. Why I am getting lots of hypopigmentation? I am getting tanned out. They don't know really. They are getting hyperpigmented. They always go to the dermatologist first for the detanning or the beauticians for the detannings. Or the patient may come with an excess hair growth. Their upper lip hair will be more, the chin hair will be more. They may have hair over the upper chest and they, they may have hair over the upper thighs. Why? They always come to us this kind of complaints. The most common thing is patients will become more fat. They come to a doctor that increasing weight. So irregular cycles, acne, hirsutism, hirsutism is nothing but excess of hair and central obesity. That's like when tummy is being increasing. So these are the most common complaints where a patient reaches to a gynecologist. So why these are occurring? Let us take an irregular menstruations. Why do irregular menstruation occurs? So generally any woman, they usually ovulate. We call it as an like release of the egg. Why the, what, how this happens? See, women are more dependent upon estrogen and progesterone. In PCOS, this follicle may not develop much. Because of this, there will be decrease in estrogen and progesterone. So, the natural mechanism, whatever has to happen, may not occur and they may not have good menstruations. So, that is because of lack of hormones, they may not have bleedings. So this is the reason patients may complain long term menstrual amenorrhea, we call it as a no bleeding at all. Maybe they may have maximum to one year also, they may not have periods at all. Second thing, they may have irregular cycles because of imbalance in between this. We have few hormones like follicle stimulating hormone and LH which are absolutely deranged. This is the main reason why they may have irregular bleedings and sometimes they may not have any breaks in between the cycles. Why these breaks also may not occur is because of lack of supporting hormones, that is indirect effect. What, why this hair, why as we discussed, why they come with lots of hair? See, androgen is not our hormone, it's a male hormone. It will be there in the females, but in a lesser quantity. So what happens to this? This will become excess as the same time estrogen and progesterone will be low. When these androgens are being increased, it acts just like a male pattern. So the chin, the it's like a beard, it's like a uh, moustache. So upper lip area and the chin area, there will be lots of hair. Not only this, they may have this alopecia. This is called as an androgenic alopecia, like just like baldness in the man. So this kind of symptoms will be there. At the same time, little complicated thing to understand is hyperinsulinemic stage. Say for your understanding, whatever the food we take, it will be converted into glucose that will be neutralized with insulin. This insulin has to neutralize the glucose and we are not known as a diabetic and we are healthy. But in PCODs, insulin resistant, it won't work at all. So this is the reason in future they might be developing complications like diabetes but not at present but what is this insulin is going to do it will try to release more and more why we are not able to act on your body thinking not acting in your body so excess insulin will be released secondary to the glucose so this insulin they'll be so confused to act and they act on the skin they act on your fatty levels there is lots of physiology behind this for your understanding this is in the normal language so this insulin is a reason for pigmentations. As we discussed, you people will think that you are getting tanned, but it's that it's not that. Because of hyperinsulin, the patients will turn to a doctor with hyperpigmentations. Insulin levels are very important to be checked. The next thing is acne. Because of this excess androgens and excess insulin, the patients usually develop acne all over the face. The most common thing is over the cheeks. 
and they may have even depending upon the severity of PCOS they may have acne over the back they may have the acne over the hands also so this kind of things will be really more when you have PCOS so these are the main reasons if you come to uh, if other complaint the other way so lots of patients come to come to us with infertility problems See infertility problems they come to us doctor we are just married we are planning but we are not having any we are not getting any good results we are trying since six months with lots of histories like irregular cycles they might be coming to us. We already discussed that ovulation may not occur in PCOS. So infertility is also the one of the symptoms of the PCOS. How to handle this? Reach hospital, reach doctors don't ignore it better to reach doctors and find it out what is the exact reason and what are the things which are happening to you here when it comes to the diagnosis now depending upon all these things we measure blood investigations are very important to measure all those things but apart from that usually people may may have little knowledge about this and come to us and say doctor i'm not having irregular cycles but still unable to conceive doctor i'm having acne but i'm having very regular cycles See, there is a criteria for the diagnosis out of four, whatever we discussed, at least if you have two, yes, we have to treat you like an PCOS. Lots of patients come to me with repeated ultrasound scans to see whether I'm having PCOS or not. So if they really don't see, they feel happy and they feel and they don't come to the doctor. Yes, I'm good. I'm out of this PCOS, but is that is absolutely wrong. So out of four, if you have two, we have to diagnose it as an PCOS and the, and the treatment has to be given according to that. And the next thing is 50% of the treatment. See, one, now we came to know why it is occurring and how does it is affecting you. But when it comes to the treatment, 50% is in your hands, 50% is in doctor's hands. So what is this 50%? What you have to do? See, we know that stress is the main factor which is going to affect and PC word is also exact reason is not known but it runs in the families if your sister or if your mother is having PCOS yes there is a chances of 50 percent for you so any family histories of diabetes also increase as an incidence of PCOS so for avoiding this the stress factors as well as habits like smoking alcohol which is not at all good for the females at least that has to be out of it with the stress with the lifestyle habits whatever you are having we have to try to cope up with that so what is the best compensatory mechanism for the stress go for nice exercises physical exercises will compact i usually say in my patients how much ever stress you take it in the family or in the work area the compensatory mechanism has to be done which is exercise so here we have to according to this who there is a standard protocol of 45 minutes of rigorous exercise for five days in a week follow this definitely it's going to help you so not only this physical exercises as we already discussed androgen that fat cells which are being released that increases that is like aromatization the testosterone will be converted to an estrogen this is a little medical word but which shows that it androgens that is like whatever the bad hormone we have that is being converted to a good hormone that is like female hormone so when you burn the fat you are treating yourself so this is the reason physical exercises with lot of sweat always helps in PCOS so little amount of hard work if you do you can definitely see lots of changes in your symptoms with the PCOS if the hormones are being released you may regularize your hormones yourself rather than coming to your doctor and taking the treatment. So physical exercise is more important. As we already discussed, when we eat something, it increases, it releases the glucose. So when you decrease the glucose content, the insulin, which is being resistant, which is not been acting also, will reduce it. So what happens if you decrease carbohydrate diet, that the whatever the glucose release will be decreased, as well as the insulin release will be decreased. So you are trying to compensate by your own. Reduce all high calorie food. Avoid junk food indirectly. Go for healthy diet, high proteins and less carbohydrates. You can meet the dietitians. You can come and discuss with the doctors for the diet management. Do regular exercises. Avoid all high calorie foods. 50% treatment will be done by yourself. What about the next? What doctors are going to help you? We will try depending upon your demand. If you really want to go for pregnancy, the plan of treatment is different. If you really don't want to go for pregnancy and you are a young girl, not married, treatment will be different. 
target for the patients who want to become pregnancy is to increase the ovulation as we discussed in PCY it is going to be decreased so with the help of the doctors we you are able to conceive so better not to get panic and just seek and doctor's advice second thing is if you are not planning for pregnancy you should target for regularization of your cycles so regularization of your cycles can be done with pills that is 21 days pills will be there we usually give it to regularize it and this also increases the all hormones and usually PCOS patients they may have the psychological issues like anxieties mood swings and uh, they may have the sleepless nights which are being decreased because we are replacing it from outside so there is why I, I mention this particularly because there are lots of false myths that OC pills are not good for in future but if you are deficit when you are replacing it gives you a good results and all my patients when I usually start this their mood swings anxieties depressions will be decreased along with that nice regularization of the cycles also will be there which gives them a very good well-being second thing seek dermatologist advice for acne as well as for the hair go and meet them better to have a nice treatment laser treatments are easily available in the market better to take help of them and finish it off this increases your confidence levels decrease your weight and decrease your stress levels and seek help of the doctors you can definitely become pregnant in PCOS there is nothing is impossible in PCOS if you manage it properly it is not going to harm you last but not the least I have to tell you a word that always patients comes to us saying that I used to have PCOS now I am not having it I should not say it is completely wrong but PCOS is just like an hypertension and diabetes once it started it may not but you can absolutely control all the symptoms and the signs and you can lead a happy life aim for PCOS free woman Thank you.